Today in this video, we are going to build a basic AI chatbot from scratch. So I will teach you how to install Olama. I will teach you how to build application using a framework called as Streamlit. So we will be doing it together so you don't have to worry. And let's get started. And this is an example of what you will be building at the end of this tutorial. First things first, head over to your favorite browser, search for Olama. And here, click on the first link or you can just go to olama.com. Click on download and install this software. And once you have installed it, what you need to do is just open up your terminal. And this is also available for Windows, Linux and Mac. So you don't have to worry about it. And then uh, here I'm pulling up my terminal. Let me make it bigger. So all you have, all you have to do is just say olama run. And now it is going to expect you a command on which model you want to install. So head over to models here and here you can see tons of models available. And if you want model which can think, click on thinking and it will suggest you the few models like Quen3, Magistral, right? You can just dis change that and then, yep. Uh, let's do one thing. I guess I have downloaded already 3.3. But again, let me show you how to do it. You can click on any model and basically come here uh, and you can just click on view all if you want to view all the models here. And then uh, what you can do is you can see here, this is the command, right? So you just say Olama run like this. Let me go to the terminal and Olama run 3.3, right? And it starts pulling the manifest and starts downloading the model like this. Let me go ahead and cancel it for now. And if you want to list the models that you already have, then you can simply say Olama list. And these are the models that I have downloaded. So you can see I have DeepSeek, then I have some a small Llama 3.1, right? So in this tutorial, let's use Llama 3.1. You can use 3.3. Also, uh, if you can see, it says it is 42 gigabytes. Just to avoid that, make sure uh, you are downloading something of a smaller size. I would really recommend you to go with something like, so if I go back, click on, let's say if you're going for Llama 4, click on this. Oh, so you can see the base model itself are huge and I'm not sure if these guys are going to support your systems. So to be on the safer side, uh, you can go ahead and pull this one, I guess. Yeah, you can run the 5.4 model. You can run right here. You have two gigabytes. This one you can run 3.2, right? You can just click copy this, paste it and run it. Great. So once you have your Llama installed and now that let's say you have completely installed the Llama 3.1 latest or whatever you're right now installing. Once done, what I can say is O Llama run and now if I just show you my activity monitor, that is pretty interesting to see since uh, your usage is going to be spiked up rapidly. So currently the system that I am using here is a MacBook Pro M1 Pro with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 storage, right? Uh, so you can expect some similar specs to make sure it runs a little smoother, right? It's not like you need that configuration it is just that the time taken to generate the output is going to be longer so now you can see it has started the the, the model has started so let's say if i say just say hi and now we're waiting for the llm to respond right so it says how it's going is there something that can help you with or would you like to chat right so this is terminal based so let's do something like like can we create a ui for this and that's what we are going to do so First things first, let me go ahead and create a new folder. Let me name it chatbot, sorry, chatbot. And let me open it in my VS Code. Great. So now uh, let me quickly create a Python environment. What you can do is install the Python environment extension from here and you should be able to find it here. And you can just click on edit, VNV. You can select your Python interpreter and then you should be having your Python interpreter here and I should be able to open a new terminal which is already activating the environment. 
So if I show you the folder, you can see the V E N V is here, right? So once I have that, let me create app.py and here, uh, let's say this is going to be my Streamlit app. So to talk about Streamlit, you can just head over to your favorite browser, search for S-T-R-E-A-M Streamlit, right? And click on this. This has been my favorite since building front end is way faster, which will help you to focus on the core logic, right? So I can show you here if you go to the, I mean, let's scroll through, you can see what all can be done like you know you can just write python code and it will build you the front end right and then what more can be done right and if you go to the docs you should be able to explore everything and if you want something specific component you can click on search and you can search here right so once we are kind of familiar with it let's go back to the code let me i guess you won't be able to see this let me just zoom in a little bit hope this helps and now let me create a requirement.txt, right? Uh, let me rename it here itself. Great. So now let me create, uh, I need to have first is Olama, right? So if you want to search how to search for it, you go ahead here, Olama PIPY or PIP, and you can click on the first link, which is for PIPY, go back and just paste here right and second we will be having stream let right great so if i should run this it would be python hyphen r which stands for requirements file requirement.txt sorry my bad uh, it should have been pip install pip install hyphen r requirements.txt right now these two libraries are being installed in this particular environment let me go ahead and well i'll be using an assistant here but again um, so in order to show you how the stream would streamlit would work so you just need to import streamlit as st then this is the title that you set and then this is your you know the first name i mean the up after the first uh, under the title and then this is going to be your user input which is text input and then whatever you say for example if i have to run this so what you have to do is just say stream let run app.py. Great. And you can see, you know, uh, this is here. Let's say Nilesh and you say, it says you said Nilesh, right? So now I have a fairly simple, uh, what we call Streamlit app, right? So now uh, let's uh, rename this to AI chatbot app. Okay. And then let me remove this, right? And now here in, let's use something called as, right? So if you see, uh, this is a code for this type of, what do you call, um, bar, wherein you can attach files, you can send something, right? So let me quickly copy this part, come back to my code. Let me paste it here, right? And here you have two parts is what I see. One is the prompt and accept file is true. We are not going to accept any file. So let me just remove it. And then you have the file type option. I will just remove it because we don't have like an accept option, right? And then we remove here, say something about AI or ask a question. Let's do this. And then say, let me remove this, right? So let's keep this and let's see how it looks. Going back, refreshing. And here you can see that, you know, you have a chat box here at the bottom, right? So this looks good. Let's add a, what do we call the, I'll send from here. I mean, ask the question here and then I'll get an output here. So, okay, let's do something like, you know, let's build an engine first. So in order to build an engine, what I mean by engine is um, when you have installed Olam on your system, uh, it comes with a local host and let me quickly show you how to write the code for that let me go back let me create a new file called as engi engine dot pi right and let me quickly generate some code here so i've created a function called as olama and here i'm going to pass my model and as discussed the model that we are going to use in this example would be Llama 3.1 latest, let's do that, 
right and I go back to the code just replace it here and this is going to be a constant URL from Ulama that is localhost colon 11434 right and then this is an API endpoint it has and here I am passing payload as model and the prompt prompt is going to be the question that I am going to pass okay and then uh, what I am going to do is um, pass it send it and then whatever data I get it I am going to see a, uh, this is an example wherein this is the question that I am going to input and then that is going to reply me right so what I can do is I can just cut this take to my app right and I just say import engine right I mean I should have been importing from engine import query olama right great and then let's see my user input is going to be the prompt right and let me just remove here let me take this inside and let me take this as input and this is going to be my reply and reply is going to come here and let's say if I'm going to st.markdown the reply as well. Okay, let's remove this part. Let's say md.prompt.txt. Let me just say reply.txt. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. Let me just remove this because that's going to be the text. Okay, I just had to make a change here, you know, from prompt.txt. This is this is not being you know, there is no variable called dot text for the string right so I just removed that off here as well and I've just sent hi here and let's see how it goes well I'll meanwhile I'll show you my processor here you can see it just escalated it became red and then now it's green it means the answer has been passed so oh, we have an error okay let's take a look at it so there was a quick change in the way the engine had to be written one is that this remains the same this remains the same this remains the same we are going to post it, raise for status, get the data in JSON format, json.load it and then we are going to return it. So let's see how it is going to go here and let me send hi. You can see now it's rising up here. That should be fine. But again, I like to watch this. Oh, all right. So it just gave us how, right? Okay. So there is something wrong. Let's, let's fix that. Great. So, so this is our Olama query and this is our app and now you can see that you know let's say uh, what is earth and you got your content here right and what more you can do is let's try to put it in the chat box right so let's say chat elements let's look for this so we can do two things here uh, you can see you know there is an option for name which can be user assistant AI human or string so let me do copy this go here and this is somewhere we have to change it right so i'll go back uh, let's say this is a user right this is the prompt sent by the user right and let me do it like this right so st dot i can simply say avatar to be okay so let me do it like this i'll remove this prompt okay st dot this then let's say Set as user avatar scratch to none and then this is right and then what happens here is I get the reply right and now reply will be given with right and then I'll say this is the reply right and let's say this is AI or AI I'm not sure uh, it's small letter AI right great so let's look after this now. Uh, it's already running. I'll go back to code detect refresh. Oh, let's let's put up the width. Okay, great. So width there is an argument called as width is what I see here. For now, let's let's remove this. Great. Um, let's take a look at the app. Right, right. Okay. So I guess if prompt should be the one thing, and then this this guy should come inside. Let's try this now. Great. Let's say hi. Yes, this is our hi. It's running. I'm expecting some good output here. So you can see how can I help you. Uh, let's say how to add two numbers with Python. Great. So here you have your output. So this is what we can expect in the start of this. Uh, 
what more can you do with this right so you can have a continuous chat application here and then you can add context awareness that is you know it understands the questions that were asked before and use that as a knowledge and then work on it you can add files right you can add uh, images right and again i will be doing those things but for this video i guess this is something great that we have started with now that you are aware how these things work i'm pretty much sure that you will be able to take it from here um, also to go ahead with the these three files i will be posting it on my github so you can easily download these files and you already know if you have watched the entire video you already know how to run these files and if there are any doubts please make sure to comment and i'll make sure to reply you on that so that's been my time myself nilesh dalgi and you're watching techie programmer see you in the next video and until then take care bye bye